Look at this, guys. <laughs> Turns out, a really sharp chisel can do better than a putty knife and heat gun in some cases. But you have to get it really sharp, and I'll show you how. But I think it's just sharp enough to where we can still do this before it gets dulled. Because this stuff is really badly painted. It's a lot easier. much time saved. I am noticing that it just seems to be dulling a little bit. It doesn't seem to be catching as much so then we can sharpen it once we get this done. anyway, but we do it. does need to be sanded. So I'm going to start with some thick glass, which was, I guess, like flow molded or whatever the term is. It's really, really flat. I'm going to take some 1500 grit sandpaper, put it down there. Get the water to the edge. Then we shrub it. And it almost gets like a, a mirror finish. 
because I can actually almost see my reflection in the part that's um, polishing up. And then we need to do this side. Press down really hard and you, you feel where it fits. I think I got too much water on this glass and so the sandpaper wants to slip around. There we go. Yeah, you can almost see the reflection in the polished metal. Now this stuff always gives me more trouble. I'm not sure if it's because I've already gone over with the heat gun and so it's already melted into the wood or something else. I think that since I've gone over this with the heat gun, it's already melted the remainder of this into the wood. Now for this, in order to get this to work, you can't just start from, from this you, it's just not going to work you need to have a place where it's like already opened up and you can't do it like very well like that you have to have the entire area free so the, the chisel can be on the wood so once you get that going you can actually have an area big enough to do it Sometimes it can, be, it can be tricky to take a piece and open it up until you have enough space to have the chisel all the way on the wood and make the paint. Oh my god, this is so nice. I think they just didn't do any prep work on this, didn't sand it or anything. They just were idiots and put paint over the varnish. And that's why it's working so well. Oh, do you see this? It's cracking here. Already, it's a good place to go in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Fuck. It's a little staple right here. still be sharper so maybe you can do this They had white paint on here originally, and then that started peeling off, so they put blue, uh, brown paint on there, and that started peeling off as well. So that's what we saw over here, then. The white paint? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because there's white paint underneath here, and it's obvious that it chipped off. And so the white blotch here, there's none ever anywhere else. That's weird. Still got a good, nice looking water underneath, though. Yeah. So many staples though. Yeah. We never hit that window for pulling staples. Some of the paint comes off, some of it doesn't.
to get proof than a chisel. It's actually pretty handy. I hope this helps you guys with your restorations, and thank you very much for watching. See ya. Holy crap. Yeah. You did almost the whole door. Yeah, I did. Didn't take very long either. Oh, yeah. I like it.